All right, now we've just compounded our board. We've got it all smooth, slick. Really feels good to the hand to the touch. And this is the kind of finish that if you walk up to it and it's just asking you to touch it, you know you've done a good job. It looks good, it feels good, and you've achieved what you're after. The very last thing we're going to do, this is a protective wax we're going to put on. Um, this just gives a very thin barrier to the surface. It doesn't change anything. Um, just a little dab will do you too on this stuff. Again, it's an industrial product by 3M, and it uh, will just clean it up a little bit and give it a little protection, but it won't change anything we've done so far other than just make it look a little bit richer and deeper. And again, you put this on and just keep buffing until it all disappears. And then find another clean spot of your rag. Give it one final buff. All right. Now this is basically your finished product. It's just a finish on a small sample board. You know, we started with a board like this. We ended up with a finish like this. In between, we had to put a filler on. This is what a lot of people avoid, this step right here. And if it weren't for this step, you wouldn't have this clear, flat surface. You'd have a real grainy, open poured finish. So of all the finishing I've done today, what the most important thing is, is this filler. Once this is on and applied properly, you get a much, much prettier finish in the end. So as you can tell, when we start with something as simple as a piece of mahogany plywood, we can turn it into a really nice finish. Same thing we do on old furniture. That something you may have around the house you want fixed up, we take the down to the bare wood and bring the finish back in something like this and bring it back to where it was in its original beauty. We can also take dining room tabletops, things like that, and refinish. So this is just a small scale of what we do on a large scale. But to give you an idea, all the steps are the same. And a lot of times you'll hear a 15-step process, and that's pretty much what we've gone through. And anytime you get around a 15-16-step process, you know you've got a finish that's going to be like this, a really pretty finish, and it's going to be durable for the longevity of the piece of furniture. 